Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer for Tuesday, August 29th. Both here and in all your churches throughout the world, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. Day 29, the third note continued. This joy is a divine gift, coming from union with God in Christ. It is still there even in times of darkness and difficulty, giving cheerful courage in the face of disappointment and an inward serenity and confidence through sickness and suffering. Those who possess it can rejoice in weakness, insults, hardship, and persecutions for Christ's sake. For when we are weak, then we are strong. O God, you resist the proud and give grace to the humble. Help us not to think proudly, but to serve you with humility that pleases you, so we may walk in the steps of your servant Francis and receive the gift of your grace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. God rules over all the earth. O come, let us worship. The Venite. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. O oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The Psalms appointed for this morning are Psalms 5 and 6. Give ear to my words, O Lord, consider my meditation. Hearken to my cry for help, my King and my God, for I make my prayer to you. In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. Early in the morning I make my appeal and watch for you. For you are not a God who takes pleasure in wickedness, and evil cannot dwell with you. Braggarts cannot stand in your sight. You hate all those who work wickedness. You destroy those who speak lies. The bloodthirsty and deceitful, O Lord, you abhor. But as for me, through the greatness of your mercy, I will go into your house. I will bow down towards your holy temple in awe of you. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness, because of those who lie in wait for me. Make your way straight before me, for there is no truth in their mouth. There is destruction in their heart. Their throat is an open grave. They flatter with their tongue. Declare them guilty, O God. Let them fall because of their schemes. Because of their many transgressions, cast them out, for they have rebelled against you. But all who take refuge in you will be glad. They will sing out their joy forever. You will shelter them, so that those who love your name may exalt you, may exalt in you. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. You will defend them with your favor as with a shield. Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger. Do not punish me in your wrath. Have pity on me, Lord, for I am weak. Heal me, Lord, for my bones are racked. My spirit shakes with terror. How long, O Lord, how long? Turn, O Lord, and deliver me. Save me for your mercy's sake. For in death no one remembers you, and who will give you thanks in the grave? I grow weary because of my groaning. Every night I drench my bed and flood my couch with tears. My eyes are wasted with grief and worn away because of all my enemies. Depart from me, all evildoers, for the Lord has heard the sound of my weeping. The Lord has heard my supplication. The Lord accepts my prayer. All my enemies shall be confounded and quake with fear. They shall turn back and be suddenly put to shame. God of mercy and tenderness, giver of life and conqueror of death, look upon our weakness and grief and restore us to health, that we may sing a new song to your praise through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. The 
Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, From the fig tree learn its lesson. As soon as its branch becomes tender and puts forth its leaves, you know that summer is near. So also when you see these things taking place, you know that he is near at the very gates. Truly I tell you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But about that day or hour, no one knows, neither the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Beware, keep alert, for you do not know when the time will come. It is like a man going on a journey. When he leaves home and puts his slaves in charge, each with his work, and commands the doorkeeper to be on the watch. Therefore keep awake, for you do not know when the master of the house will come. In the evening or at midnight, or at cock-crow, or at dawn. Else he may find you asleep when he comes suddenly. And what I say to you, I say to all, keep awake. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Lord, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the Church throughout the world. For the Anglican Communion, the Anglican Church of Canada, the province of Rupert's Land, the Diocese of Brandon, and this parish of St. Matthew. We pray for our church leaders, for Bishop William, our Metropolitan Greg, our National Indigenous Archbishop Chris, our Primate Linda, and the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin. O Lord, guard and direct your church in the way of unity, service, and praise. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the world. Most especially, we pray for those places where there is warfare, famine, disease, man-made or natural disasters. We pray for Yemen, Sudan, Somalia, Nigeria, Syria, Afghanistan, Iraq, and Iran. Palestine, Israel, North and South Korea, Russia, Ukraine, China, Taiwan, and the United States. We also pray for those places that are suffering because of the forest fires or wildfires. We pray for those in British Columbia, the Canadian North, and our sisters and brothers in the United States. Give to all nations an awareness of the unity of the human family. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for this community. We pray for those who this day will experience systemic racism and prejudice. We pray for those who are seen as an outsider, as less than, as unwanted, or not seen at all. Cleanse our hearts of prejudice and selfishness, and inspire us to hunger and thirst for what is right. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those that this day will suffer from the effects of poverty or homelessness, those who will struggle in their search for food, in their search for shelter, 
in their search for safety. Teach us to use your creation for your greater praise, that all may share the good things you provide. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick, for those in our hospital, our nursing homes, any awaiting surgery, recovering from it, or suffering from other long-term health issues, mental health issues, addictions, or isolation. We also give thanks for those who minister to the sick. We pray for our first responders, our doctors, nurses, and medical technicians, for mental health um, workers and social workers, for researchers and scientists. Strengthen all who give their energy or skill for the healing of those who are sick in body or in mind. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those this day who are struggling. Most especially we pray for our vulnerable community in downtown Brandon as they mourn the loss of Robert. We pray, Heavenly Father, that your hand be upon them, that you comfort them, that you sustain them, that you give them strength. We also pray for Robert's family as they mourn his death, and we pray for the person who is responsible that they will learn that they are called to love and not to hate. Set free all who are bound by fear and despair. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant a peaceful end and eternal rest to all who are dying, and your comfort to those who mourn. Lord, hear our prayer. In our prayers for the Third Order, we pray this morning for the for Central America, for El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Panama. And we pray for Christina, Joseph, Gretchen, Linda, Nancy, Estelle, Eileen, Jack, Marta, and our companions in the Second Order. And we also pray for spiritual health and growth and vocation in the Society of St. Francis, in both the First Order, the Second Order, and the Third Order. God, we give you thanks for the Third Order of the Society of St. Francis. Grant, we pray, that being knit together in community and prayer, we, your servants, may glorify your holy name after the example of St. Francis, and win others to your love. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, we are taught by your word that all our doings without love are worth nothing. Send your Holy Spirit and pour into our hearts that most excellent gift of love, the true bond of peace and of all virtue. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May our Blessed Lady pray for us. May St. Francis pray for us. May St. Clair pray for us. May all the saints of the Third Order pray for us. May all the holy angels watch over us and befriend us. May our Lord Jesus give us his blessing and his peace. Amen.